Are you struggling with the error message? Cannot find setter for field while using Kotlin with the room database? You're not alone. This is a common issue that many developers face. And today, we're going to solve it together. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when you're trying to integrate a library and things just don't work as expected. It can feel like you're hitting a brick wall, especially when you're excited to get your project up and running. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user reached out saying they have a data class in Kotlin for their room database, but they keep encountering an error during compilation. They even tried adding a default constructor, but nothing seems to work. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So, what could be causing this error? The room library requires certain conventions to be followed, especially regarding how data classes are structured. If the room library can't find a setter for a field, it usually means there's a mismatch in expectations. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that can save you a lot of headaches when working with Room and Kotlin. To resolve the issue with the Room database in Kotlin, the user should first ensure that all properties in the data class have either a default value or are marked as nullable. This is important because Room requires a way to instantiate the object without needing all values. Next, the user should check if the Room library is correctly set up in the project. This includes ensuring that the Room dependencies are included in the build.gradle file. After confirming the setup, the user should clean and rebuild the project. This can help resolve any lingering compilation issues that may be causing the error. Lastly, if the problem persists, the user can consider using a regular constructor instead of the default constructor. This can sometimes help Room recognize the fields correctly. Fun fact, did you know that Kotlin was designed to be fully interoperable with Java? This means you can mix and match, but sometimes it can lead to unexpected issues like this one. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user points out that this issue is a bug in the Room library. They mention that it has been fixed in version 2.1.0-alpha01. This update allows Room to properly utilize Kotlin's primary constructor in data classes, eliminating the need to declare fields as mutable. That's all for that response. Let's see what someone else had to say. Another user points out that the compilation error might be caused by using the at ignore annotation on fields in your entity data class. They explain that if you have this annotation, it can lead to the cannot find setter for field error for all fields. They also mention that using the at transient annotation can lead to the same issue. This user observed this problem while using room version 2.2.2. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests making the variables mutable. You can change val to var in your Kotlin data class. This allows room to find the necessary setters. If you're using Java, ensure that your variables are public instead of private. Let's take a moment to review another user's answer. One alternative solution is to rename the ID variable to something else like worker ID. This change resolved the issue for another user. Now let's see a response from a different user. Another user points out that the issue might be related to the naming of your fields. Specifically, if you use any predefined keywords, it can lead to the same error. For example, naming a column is active would cause problems. Here's a quick tip. Always ensure your data classes are structured with Room's requirements in mind. This can save you from a lot of compilation headaches down the line. And there you have it. By following these steps, you should be able to resolve the cannot find setter for field error in your Kotlin Room integration. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks on coding.